day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father God, thank you again for having brought us together to expand our knowledge of you and increase us in faith. Yes, Lord. Through these studies, Father God, we begin to believe more readily the truths that you've already imparted to us and those truths that you impart to us on a day-to-day -day basis. Help us refashion our minds, renew our minds, Lord, because the only reality that we know is the one that you present. Yes. Your right is right and your wrong is wrong. What you call abominable is abominable. What is up in your sight is up, what's down is down. Lord, help us to receive your truth that we might walk in it, yes. that it may be manifested in the earth, that others may see these things and be drawn to you. Yes. In eternal life. Thank you for having been part of to us. We stand to pray in the name of our Lord, Jesus of Nazareth. Amen and amen. 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 Hey man, look, I, I was excited because I was going over, Brother Asin asked his question uh, last Sunday as well as Thursday to address the two cup, two scriptures. And and I, 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 when I was researching it, I was like, whoa, this, this is something that goes along with faith. Uh, as we walk with, with the understanding uh, of our faith, this is the uh, scripture starting off with these are the two scriptures they put up there and then i got some uh, definitions here but i can tell you right now brother uh, jackson before you leave the whole program I'm getting to is that we need to understand that we're walking in the authority of god that we've been sent by jesus christ under the authority given to him to us to do his will on this earth amen amen, amen. And, amen. And, 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 and therefore let's go with the foundational scriptures we have today and Brother Jackson, I'd always like you to read. You know that. So uh, can you see those scriptures? I can. All right. Starting out in uh, John chapter 5, verse 43. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. Yes, if sir. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Yes, I am sir. come in my Father's name. Amen. Okay. John chapter 10, verse 25. Jesus answered them, I told you and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Uh-huh. It says here, a note, when the Bible reads, a uh, word reads in my name, it means that the power and authority is by his consent and his will and according to a covenant with him. Christ came not of himself, Come of on. his own accord, but by a separate power and will of his own, but was called and sent and came by mutual agreement ah. and brought his credential, credentials with him doing the works and miracles which his father gave him to finish. Amen. Yeah, and, and I sit there and I want y'all to know as we go through the, the, the concept of my name, mm -hmm. the fact is that saying is you need to translate at least for this study, at least for your walk in Christian life, is to understand that when that word says my name, it's talking about my authority. In other words, it's not somebody else's authority you walk in. You're walking under the authority and the power that's given unto God to you. Amen. Yes. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. And matter of fact, I'm gonna go to the next slide. See if I can get over here. But Asin, if you could take that, I appreciate it. Okay, what does in my name mean? Number one, used to say that some something officially or legally belonged to a, spe a specified person. Yes, sir. The business is registered in her husband's name for tax purposes. Yes, sir. Number two, used to say that something has or uses the name of a specified person or reservation at the restaurant in my name. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of in Jesus' name? It says Joshua means Yahshay. Joshua equals Yahshua equals Yah plus Shua. <laughs> Yah 
is short for Yahweh, uh -huh. and Shua is from Yahshua, Yeshua, which means to save. Come on, now. save alive, rescue. In other words, the more appropriate translation for Jesus' name is God rescues. Amen. Yes, and he'll be strong concordance, uh, these numbers. Strong. This is in yeah. the Greek. Three six eight eight six. This is the definition from a presumed der derivative of the base of the Greek word from ten ninety seven. Compare our <laughs> uh, Greek three six eight five. A name, literally or figuratively, authority, character. Called plus sir, name, and total King James ver versus occurrences is 229 from Strong's Hebrew and Greek Dictionary. All right, and that's, and that's a, the whole purpose of that is to go ahead and read the understanding of, 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 of just like somebody said, a reservation is in your name. That uh -huh. means that anybody shows up, they showing up to that table because they, you have given authority to use and reserve that table or just like you said when you endorse something and many of us being in the military we even say it is the general said right remember that the general yeah. said uh or even in your your will is the your name is the words means the authority is given amen amen there's another one here uh brother jackson i'm gonna email this out for you Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, this right here, uh, Brother Asher, you can read, these are the comparable ones they were referring to. Okay. Ginosko. A prolonged form of a primary verb, to know, absolutely, in a great variety of applications, and with many applications, as shown at left with others, not thus clearly expressed. Allow, be aware of, feel to have, known knowledge, perceive, or I mean, be resolved, can speak, be sure, understand. Now, like a can speak me, like a speak in somebody's name. Go yes. ahead, brother. <laughs> okay, and then that was uh, the Greek 1097 in the Greek 3685. Uh, what is it? Uh, on a name, on a name, yeah, I wouldn't really worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> a prolonged form of an apparent primary verb for which another prolonged form is used as an alternate in the same in some tenses, unless indeed it be identical with the base of this particular word. 3686. That's I, yeah, 3686, the Greek word, uh -huh. through the idea of notoriety uh -huh. to gratify. That is, middle voice, middle to, derive, voice. to derive pleasure or advantage Have from. Joy. Yes, sir. Have joy. Yes, sir. Those, those are what I wanted to show those are Greek words, uh, Hebrew words, that was dealing with when we say name, my name. Amen? Yes. Now, let me get the next one here. Just want to make sure you know. I put in there how many times those, my name is in the Bible. And it got like 119 verses found uh, and 122 matches. And he scrapped all the way from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Is how many times? That's the only reason. So, if somebody wanted to study that, my name, and how often it is used in the Bible from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament because God has said it many times in the Old Testament elder where he said is just like that one scripture we know if my people which are called by what my name my name come on now to seek my faith now the whole purpose of that and let me come off for a second I'll come back because I think I, I was trying to uh, let me see here get off I was trying to trying to get emphasize, Brother Jackson, is that when they use that, that word known, my name, 
It is a talk of God for us to understand that we're operating under authority that God gave us. Amen. You know? So, so my fact, uh, Elder, go ahead and do this as uh, 1 Samuel 17, 41 for me. Good again. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. 17. All right. 41 through 46. And the Philistines came on and drew near unto David. And the men that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistines looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistines cursed David by his gods. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh into the fowl of the air, and to the beast of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and come with on. a spear, yes. and with a shield. Yes. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, come the on. God of the armies of Israel. Uh -huh. Thou hast defiled. Yes. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, uh -huh. and I will smite thee. And take thine head from thee. Uh -huh. And I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the field, that all the earth might know that there is a God in Israel. Amen. Hey, Brother Jackson, when I read that, just to say, based on where I'm coming from, and we can we can talk from there and move forward, is the fact that G David said, I come and the authority of the Lord. Amen. You know what that is? Yeah, when we're talking about going into that, brother, uh, Elder, you're talking about going to the hospital, you need to understand I'm going into that hospital under the authority of God Almighty through Jesus Christ. I'm walking in authority, and I'm not coming in my name. And that's, I think, that's, brother, brother, I think that's what's more critical, is that we need to understand is that when we walk this walk, and when we minister this word, we need to understand I am not ministering as Brother Jackson. I'm not ministering as Brother Addison. I'm not ministering as Elder Johnson. I'm ministering in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that power and authority is that faith that you walk in. That's why God said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. Well, he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. But the key to it is when I hear my, because he said, come in my name, or you ask the Father in my name, he's saying is you're asking in my authority. And those of us in the military understand the power of that authority. See, it doesn't matter what my rank is. It matters what my rank represents and the authority that goes with that authority to operate as a major, to operate as, a, as an officer or, or enlisted. Or it doesn't matter. The bottom fact is that, that, that I'm representing something greater than the person that's standing before you. You know what I mean? Yes. It's that authority you must walk in. And God said, as he wants us to understand that, is that when he's talking about somebody comes in their, uh, their own name, they're talking about people who try to come in the, the perceived power that they have and try to perform something under their authority. And mankind has a tendency to, to what you call, receive the person instead of, and I think, I'm not fact, I, when I was reading that, Brother Addison, I was reading the fact that God is saying this, Jesus said, I did, don't get wrapped up in my name. Because I'm telling you, I'm always pointing to you where the power, where the power came from. You know what I mean? Right yeah. to that. Jesus, I did, you know what I'm saying? Jesus said, I did not come in my name or my authority. I came mm -hmm. in the authority of the Father who did what? Sent me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You as Christians, have been sent in a commission through Jesus Christ, who all power has been given unto him. In heaven and in earth. In heaven and in earth to you. And therefore you need to understand is that if some if you lay hands on somebody else and they recover, you need to make sure that my line is 
you recover because of the authority of God Almighty that came through Jesus Christ. In other words, it don't I ain't taking no credit. Yeah, definitely. Come on. Now, now one of the things.